What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today, Danny Olmo, future stars card, what a card it looks like. He also gets a strong link with Timo Werner Player of the Month, which I know a lot of you have got. So 88 overall, 87 pace, 89 drilling, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 70 physical. The only thing I would love to probably improve there is maybe his pace a little bit and maybe he's physical but if them stats are so good i wouldn't need the physical it's simple as that i have bought him for 278k so he's not the cheapest future star he is obviously five for ten so he's an inch outside meta height but it's not going to matter that much he is high medium which means he's gonna have the perfect cam work rate he has got a four star weak foot i'm gonna be able to obviously move the move the ball to his left foot and over the top of the ball hopefully and he also had four star skill moves, which I'm going to be able to do the Burber Spin, the Stanley Scoop turn. So hopefully that feels very, very nice on him. I have got a Maestro Chemistry Star on him. He is obviously a 10 Chem. 84 Acceleration, 89 Sprint Speed. He's fast for a Cam. He's one of the fastest Cams I've actually play reviewed. He has 95 Attacking Positioning, 84 Finishing, 99 Shot Power, 96 Long Shots, 91 Volleys and 70 Penalties. Now, the reason he's a Cam and I didn't improve that Finishing... It's simply, he's going to be in a cam spot. He's, most of the time, he is going to be passing. And yeah, he'll probably get into a finishing opportunity inside the box. But I do believe that the finishing 84, I believe the shot power is more important than the finish. Simply because if the shot power is so good, it's going to plot, he's going to blast straight through the keeper anyway. So I don't really want that finishing to be so, so high. So hopefully the shot still goes in and I see them long shots. It's looking nice. Hopefully them finesse shots go in from far distance. Now he has got 92 vision, 87 crossing, 94 free kick actually, 96 short passing, 92 long passing and 81 curve. The over the top through ball should work. The little one two plays, the little give and goes, the little triangle plays. Should everything work for passing on this guy? Hopefully, hopefully. Now, he's got 91 agility, 96 balance, 84 reactions, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling, 89 composure. Dribbling stats look outrageous. Outrageous. He's going to be very fast on the ball. He's going to be very agile. He shouldn't be doing any falling over animation with that 96 balance. Now, the only thing I see there is his rea reactions. Now, if he gets tackled, will he react faster than the center back to kind of get that ball back? That is something we're going to obviously have to test out. But other than that, his dribbling stats look insane. He has 92 stamina, which means up and down the pitch. He's going to be defending. He's going to be attacking. It's going to be very nice, and he's not going to lose any stamina while doing it. So that's always nice to see. 63 strength and 70 aggression. Though. The 63 strength means he's going to be getting body off the ball a lot. And in most likely, he's not going to be able to shield players. So that could be an issue. Also, the 70 aggression. Hopefully he fights for the ball, because if he doesn't, trust me, the rating won't be that good. Now, today I have linked him up with the player of the month, Timo Werner, that I know a lot of you have got. I've also got the likes of Sancho and McKennie in the team. But this is why I picked Sancho as a red pick, because if I did pick Firmino, I wouldn't be able to link all these Bundesliga players together. It's simple as that. But I will be using Danny Olmo in a 4-2-3-1, uh, playing him obviously in the cam position. Other than that, let's get straight into these games. He's in the open space. Can I get a finish shot? Okay. The first shot that we actually take of him, it actually flies into the back of the net. So that's always nice to see. I like Olmo's uh, positioning there. Simply just giving me that passing option and allowing me to take a touch with him and then instantly shoot straight after. I like that. You see that little run just behind the player? That run is so important for scoring goals. Nice. That's a beautiful tackle. Great aggression just to get there instantly. Beautiful pass. Actually going to give it to him one more time. Wow, that pass was bad. 1-2 maybe. He's fighting for it. He goes for the shot off balance. We have to obviously take that into account when he's obviously taking that shot. I didn't expect him to be off balance there, but it looked like the player gave him a little nudge. And I don't know if that was obviously strength coming into play, but the shot wasn't great. Great. I love the way he's fighting for the foot, like this ball right now. The fact is... He doesn't seem the fastest of players, but at the same time, he's really, really wants the ball more than the other players. And that's beautiful to see. I am going to obviously try to chip this. Ref, sort him out. He has got a red card. Let's try to take this free kick early. There's always one person that has to ruin the day, I guess. There's always one person. But he's playing really, really nice with him. I like how his agility is very good. He turns quite quick. He's passing. 
He looks outstanding right now. Omo with a through ball. He looks very, very good. Unbelievable through ball. That's pinpoint perfect. I know a lot of cams that actually can't do that through ball. And the fact is that he can. Shows pretty much how good his passing is. He's through one. What a run. From a cam position, that is not the greatest touch. So I wanted one of those touches that make him touch it and accelerate at the same time. The way he let it bounce... It made me take that shot first time and see how it well. It was a pretty decent volley to be fair. Challenged the keeper and we did get a corner out of it. But I was expecting one of those running touches, which he didn't really do. What a run. Oh, what a run from the cam position. Come on, use that pace. No, what is that touch? What is that touch? I was just running, waiting for the keeper to come out. And then he takes a really, really bad touch. One thing I have noticed from Olmo is that he's one of those players... That you simply move while walking with him. You don't run with him. Because when you start running with him. I have noticed he takes a lot. And I mean a lot of bad touches. And as you clearly can see. Through on goal running with him. Takes a terrible touch. What a run. Oh what a touch. Running fake shot. Turn him inside out. Can I get a finesse? Unbelievable. Now his touch was crazy. And that's what I wanted when he was through on goal. To simply take exactly the touch he took. The way he dragged the ball with him while running, he lost no speed at all. He didn't do that last time and he's done it this time, which it kind of impressed me low key. But the thing is, he's turned PK inside out this time. And he's put a beautiful, beautiful finesse into the bottom bins. Keep running, Sancho. Olmo will find you, don't worry. Olmo will find you. Oh my god. Oh, if, if Sancho could outpace his player there. That could have been one of the best passes I've actually ever seen. The way he went down the middle just before the goalkeeper and literally like was making my player able to take a touch. That was incredible. I'm going to hit this first time. Look at that. With the weaker foot, it's a beautiful pass across. That's unbelievable. Can I get a finish? Unbelievable finish. And this is what I was talking about. If the shot power is so high... It will deal with the finishing being, I wouldn't say so low because it's 84, but I would say below average, which I usually go for, for an attacker. But that's what I mean. The way the shot just blasts straight through the play, blasts straight through the keeper, you don't need that good finishing. Trust me. I don't know who just made that run, but it's an amazing run. Who is it? It's Fernand Mendy. What a ball, by the way, by Olmo. Can I, let's see what happens here. Mendy. Pass to Olmo. Olmo with the finesse. Okay, it wasn't the greatest angle. I am going to say it. But I did not expect that finesse to be that bad. Jesus Christ. Very unlucky. Little pass. Great turn. Nice. Oh, that was with his weaker foot. And that was a, literally a P-roll. I was expecting one of those pelters near post with his left foot. But hey, it did not end up like that. That's a beautiful pass to Timo Werner. Am I going to get the finish? No, I am not. Very, very tight pass. It was a beautiful pass from Omo, but just couldn't get that finish with Timo Werner. Yeah, Omo's not one of those players that is completely rapid. He's not the fastest cam. Like Mason Mount, he was fast. Like Madison, headline Madison, he was fast. O Omo, he's not fast at all. That's beautiful. He's left him open as well. I am going to go for the finesse and it is obviously going to be a goal. What I have noticed is that his finesse shots are crazy. Crazy, crazy good. The accuracy he puts behind it is amazing. The power he puts behind it is immaculate. Look at this. Ball roll. I faked going across goal. That's probably what the guy was thinking. And I just finessed it into the near post and it goes in. It's yellow. Oh my God. Oh Okay, I didn't green it. Okay? I didn't green it. I'm going to say it. I didn't. I yellowed. And if a yellow is going in like that, we all know what his long shots are. We all know how much shot power this guy has. But look at the finish. Try to save that one because there's no point of diving. You're not. Not a greatest touch. I've noticed. Yeah, again, his acceleration is just... It's a letdown. Like, the way he touches the ball, it, he doesn't accelerate after it at all. Like, look at that. You see how heavy that touch was? He had to, like, reposition his whole body for a single touch. That, I don't like. 
Oh my god, somehow, some way that ball has bounced to Olmo. And once again, once again, I tell you, when you have that much shot power, the finishing doesn't matter that much. Because it, this is a prime example of what's going to happen. The ball is going to land to him. He's going to hit it with so much shot power that the keeper has no chance of it saving it, of a chance of saving it. I don't know what to say. He's in the right place at the right time every single time. So it is time to review me. Let me say this card, it, it's something else. It's something I did not expect. Three games, six goals, very nice. Five foot ten, perfect height, high medium. I'm starting to lead him towards medium, medium work rates being the perfect for a cam. Simply because he was switching so much with like Neymar and Timo Werner. He was switching so much with them. And that's something I don't like. I don't want him to switch. I wanted to sim him to stick to his position and stick to a cam position. Four star weak foot was nice to have. The passing with it was unbelievable. Shooting of it, not the greatest. Four star uh, skill moves as well was also nice. The burber spin, the ball roll, the drag back, all of them felt amazing on him. Pace. If you're going to use this card, I want you guys to improve that, move the acceleration. Improve it. 100%. The acceleration is just not good enough. It's really not. When he takes a touch, it's too much of a heavy touch. It, it takes a long time to him to get into the next stage of like moving the ball after that. And I don't know why. I really don't know because he has 95 ball control. But I feel like it's towards his acceleration. He doesn't accelerate fast enough. Finishing wise, unbelievable. Unbelievable. The finesses he was hitting, huh, there was something else. Passing wise, crazy good. Long passing, over top through ball, 1-2, link up play. It was just amazing to see, honestly. Agility, he feels amazing on the ball. But I tell you, the only thing letting him down is that touch. That touch when, literally that touch when kind of moving into a space. He did it once. When I needed him to do it four, five, six times, he did it once. And personally, I don't like that. Strength, way, way too easy. He gets bodied so easy. It's crazy. You put a finger on this guy. He will drop. But the one thing I did like from him, he was fighting for the ball. He was gaining a lot. And I mean a lot of 50-50s. He was fighting like there was no tomorrow. And that's one thing you want to see from your camp. 92 stamina, not a problem at all as well. Up and down the pitch, simple as. Now I have to obviously give this card a rating out of 10. He was good. But I wouldn't say he's better than Mason Mount. 100%. So I am going to give him an 8 out of 10. And the reason I'm not going to give him a 9 out of 10 is because in-game he doesn't feel top tier. Yeah, he can turn inside out sometimes. But you have to you have to go through the stage of t that touch not making him move. And he, I don't know, sometimes he does feel heavy on the ball. And I don't know why. I really don't know because I'm looking at these stats and they just they don't say what's actually happened in-game. But I don't know. I'm not sure. But I am going to 100% give him an 8 out of 10. But if you guys did enjoy this play review, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.